Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Cameron and today I'd like to show you a fix for having blurry text in Electron JS applications on Windows 10 with NVIDIA graphics cards. Now, if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what the heck is Electron JS? Well, Electron JS, let's see if I can pull up the right window here, not Linus. Do do do. Electron JS, there we go. Electron JS is an application that allows developers to build um, desktop applications out of uh, website applications, pretty much. That's putting it simply. Um, but there's a problem with it that causes text to go blurry, and a lot of applications are built on this, such as Atom, Slack, Visual Studio Code, Discord, Skype, um, and etc. cetera. Um, Streamlabs OBS is also built on this, and so is Steam's new chat thing. So uh, I'll try to reproduce what it looks like here. There we go. Um, you can see it's starting to blur right here in the main body of the text and um, in the ribbon at the top, as well as the welcome guide text. Um, of course, it gets worse than this. Um, it has varying levels of severity, but it's uh, annoying nonetheless. So without further ado, let's get into how you'd fix this. What you want to go ahead and do is open up Task Manager, and of course you can press Control Alt Delete, bring up Task Manager that way. Um, if your Task Manager looks like this little tiny window here, go ahead and press More Details, then go to the Details tab, and you can see here um, I have the application Atom as about five instances open because Electron JS. Go to Steam, then you can see Steam Web Helper here. It's that weird chat thing they have now, as well as Streamlabs as five instances of itself. But in this case, the problem's happening to Atom. So we'll go to Atom, and we'll find the one that's using the most RAM just because that, uh, I don't know. It's just a way to keep things consistent. Um, open file location, and then I'll pull this over here out of the way of my big dumb face. And we want to hold on to this window right here. We want to press this caret on our desktop right click on this little NVIDIA icon and open up the NVIDIA control panel. If that's not there for you, then open up your system control panel. And then in the search menu, type in NVIDIA. NVIDIA, there we go. Click on it, it takes a second to load. Uh, the control panel is a bit slow sometimes, so just give it some you know, room to work. Let's see, you want to go to this tab right here, which is Manage 3D Settings, and go to Program Settings. And this takes a while to load. Come on, there we go. You want to press the Add button, go to Browse, and then you can see it already is already at the right place because I did this before. Uh, this video shot multiple takes. Can't do it in one take, sorry. Yeah, you'll go here to the... Uh, Windows Explorer window you opened, copy the file directory, um, go back to the control panel and its file dialog. You'll paste in the same directory, press enter, um, pick the executable in question, press open. Then you want to find this setting right here, anti-aliasing-fxaa, and then you want to turn this off. Press apply, give it a second, it will do a little hitch right there. And then it will have applied. You can go ahead and close this window, close that window, close that window. Um, and then be sure to close the application in question and then boot it back up. And you will no longer have any blurry text. You can move it around. I can snap it. I can go to other applications. I can click all around and there's no blurry text. Uh, thank you all very much for watching and have a nice day. Oh, uh, quick... PS to this, uh, postscriptum. Um, this has been patched out in most applications, if I didn't already mention that. Um, but because of settings and because the way computers are, this problem can reemerge. So uh, don't quite go pestering every developer about this because uh, they've probably patched out your computer might have some weird stuff going on. Or maybe they haven't, who knows. Uh, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.